All right, guys, so welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today, we're going to do a little video for Tasuki at Membrane Solutions. He had watched us last year, a video of us doing our maple syrup, and decided to uh, send us a uh, reverse osmosis filter membrane and then a, a link for all the parts to build this system. And so we went to his video and watched his video, I ordered all the parts. Well, my boss lady ordered all the parts. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, and we've been using it now for probably about four or 500 gallons of tree sap, probably between me and Cody, my son, who did it with us this year. I've had some health problems, so I had to have help with things. And my wife's back problem, she has to have help, so we've been in bad shape. So basically what we did was we ordered the pump that Tasuki recommended, the, the pre-filter, the gauge, and the membrane that he sent us. I followed his video basically to the T. I watched a couple other videos on YouTube, and basically it has cut our boiling time in half or even, maybe even a little bit more. I probably hardly use hardly any wood. And it does for sure take five five gallons of tree sap and turn it into about two and a half gallons of boilable. So it has really saved us this year. We really appreciate him sending us this filter. Um, everything on the link worked perfectly. The only problem I have was the people who sent us the pump did not send these fittings in the first pump. So that did create a little delay and the weather has created quite a bit of delay. We normally can do everything in two weeks and it's taken us a month. So, and, and with the blessing of the boys, yes, the lifting the buckets every day and doing all the heavy toting and, and lifting yes, firewood. Yes. They it, have basically stepped up and did everything this year. Yes. So that, that's a bonus for having children after 40. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And now we've met our goal and we're a little past our goal. We, we normally do five gallons of finished product for us for the year. And we're probably gonna be maybe seven, seven and a half gallons. And that's all because of this little system. And, and Cody did two gallons. Yeah, Cody did two gallons. We did uh, lines and taps on the trees this year with a collection point for his. And next year, we'll probably do more of that, too, with, instead of the buckets. And I, I chose to do it inside because where we live, it's so cold. The temperatures have been so cold that you couldn't run, even run this outside. It would freeze out it, there just being out there. They had mentioned that it was needed to be 40 degrees in the other video. Yes, and it, it did say that the sap, so we've been bringing it in. It does make a difference in um, how fast it runs through the system. It usually the five gallon bucket will run through the system in a, and maybe a, a little about 35 45 minutes yeah and bruce sets timers because he yeah. does <laughs> i set timers so i don't forget and run the bucket over and all the sap go on the floor so so far so good yeah um, and then talk about um as far as like how you set up the system here yeah just build a little plywood frame and then in the back he put a pocket yeah, which I don't know if you can see it. I have a pocket in the back. But see the pocket right there. And then that, he bought a container, a plastic container, to put all the extra pieces in. Yeah, and all our little plumbing fit. we found it. these handles at, uh, I think it was Menards. Yeah, Menards in one of those little bins. In one of those bins, and I think they were like maybe a dollar. So we made handles with those just so that the, um, the boys could tote it out of here. Um, but they've mentioned in the other video that you take and um, store the membrane in the refrigerator. The only thing I will say that, I, that I, I've had problems with, uh, with the pump, I don't know, I think the gauge is a little off because I can never get it up to the 100 PSI that everybody talks to about getting it to. It never really get. it stays around 85. I don't know if the gauge is off a little bit or if that pump is just not strong enough. But we ordered the uh, 100 PSI pump, but I just never can get it there. It could be the way I have it plumbed, too. So. Yeah, because we did have to work with parts um, that that weren't in the, the original kit. Yes. But we did, and then there was also one thing that was out of stock. Yes, it was. So we had to kind of piece some things together from Menards that, um, but as you can see, 
there's the uh, and that's, that could be a, something I've done wrong but and what I did do I made the, the frame next year I will add two more membranes to it and run it through three membranes instead of just one so that's why I made the frame the way it is and then this is the little pump and once I put the link in there to the other video you can go there and um, buy all the parts yes um, just make sure when you get your pump that it has these fittings in there because you will not buy we could not buy them anywhere. So. Yes, and, and if it hadn't have been that when we went to Menards, the young lady that helped us, oh yeah, sure. we, we could have never found the parts because literally me and him both stood there for like an hour looking for pieces. Yeah, it's hard to find. Um, so as you can see, some of these things that we had to buy there, right? Uh, I think the needle valve, this is the same needle valve. He I had to buy this because this fitting that came with it had a check valve in it. So I... I broke it. Okay, that's what it was. So I went and got a brass one. But and then I made my tubing a little extra too long because I was gonna do it outside, but then it's easier just to let it run at night, run in the sink for us. And and this is our like ch kitchen that was on the old part of the cabin so it didn't yeah, really it, affect our life. Yeah, we have two kitchens in our house, so this is this over here. Whereas this is just kinda like an overflow thing but it does work good and it, it was worth the effort we really i took 10 gallons of product that was ran through the system and boiled it it takes about five hours for us to do it then we bring it in on the stove and finish the last 30 or 40 minutes to get it to temperature but if we boil the same amount without it it literally takes about 14 hours for us to cook it down we don't have a modern cooker we have a 55 gallon drum with which, a 10 gallon pan which we're going to go out there and show you yes and um anything else that you want to add to this no i've enjoyed it it's been fun it's, it operates pretty fast and then if you guys know why it won't go up there you can send, let, leave me a comment tell me why what i did wrong um <laughs> it was my first time doing one and and this is uh electronics too yeah and i with the I will say make sure you buy the, the motor that came in the kit because it has the transformer with it because it is 24 volts there's a lot of pumps out there but they don't have that transformer with it let me see that this takes it to 24 volts it came in the kit with the pump from Aquatech so a lot of pumps are out there for sale but they don't have that transformer and this is what um he sent right here yes so everybody and this has been a really nice system. Yeah, it's worked really good. I've enjoyed it. Uh, and I've enjoyed having my children help me this year. It's been a game. Yeah, that, that has been really nice. Yeah, because if not, we probably probably wouldn't even have done the maple syrup. or Because we, we both are just been yes. there. We're there. <laughs> We're there. <laughs> yeah. We've had too many birthdays. Oh, goodness. So... Well, we'll co I'll get the other thing going, and we'll carry you outside and show you that. But other than that, thank you. Make sure you guys go to the link and watch his videos. And yes, and um, go to um, Membrane Solutions, yes, for the and I'll have to hit the store um, in the link below in the description box. I will say that once you have it built, it's going to be very cheap to keep and run because you just buy a filter. Yes, or and it's definitely made a 100% improvement. The one thing I, I would say that I don't really, I was trying to figure out, say, how many gallons you think you can run through the membrane before you need to replace it. So I guess that's just a, you know, we're going to save it for next year, but we don't really know that. It, it nowhere says that you can do a thousand gallons or 500 gallons or you should change it every Well, I'm sure Tzatziki can tell, tell us. Yeah, other, but it has been a game changer. And thank you Tzatziki for uh, sending it to us and we appreciate it. Your video was good. And we like your puppy dogs too. <laughs> All right, so just add it. Now see this bucket here is, is, is almost halfway. And this bucket over here is almost finished. So, so as the year goes on with our trees, we then, the sugar content all changes and everything like that. And it, it starts out with a lot less water and it builds up, builds up and changes. Even the color of our sap with the syrup will change towards the end. And, and we didn't grow up on this. No, we, we, we didn't. We were from the south. We did not yeah, grow up doing maple. We did bees. Yeah. Yes. And um, well, we did that as adults, not. Yeah. We it, just. We didn't know anything about maple sugars or anything no. like that. 
<laughs> so um, we basically, when we moved here at the end of 2021, yes. um, in 2022, we, that first uh, early spring, late winter, we did maple syrup and our sap, whatever you want to say. And that was our first year ever doing it. Oh, yeah. And we, every year we've done five gallons because that's like our number we need to have. For the year. And um, because, you know, we have a large family. And of course we don't, we have three boys left at home now who are 20, 18 and 16. They're our adult man children. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so this is our finished product right now, and we're letting it get back to room temperature. We store it in the refrigerator after we do it, and now we let it come back to room temperature. We're gonna water bath can this and put it downstairs in the basement on the shelf. Uh, I think I'll have maybe two more gallons to add to this, and it'll be the most we've ever done, thanks to the machine now that we have. And yeah, because that Cody got his two gallons too. Yep. And, and I will say the line things were um, in some ways easier, and but I still enjoy the buckets. I know. <laughs> or as Cody says, nobody ever says, oh, let's do buckets again. <laughs> yeah, let's do buckets again. But, but we use small buckets, so. But yeah. Well, they're, they're actually buckets from like Menard. I mean, not Menard's, uh, uh, Meyer. Yeah, now we can't get the buckets. Yeah, Meyer. because they had frosting in them. And the frosting... Um, they used to give them out. Now they don't. And so you can see the difference. And let's find one of the first ones. Where's the number? Number one. You can, this is it right here. Number one. You can see the difference in the colors. So there's number one. So and and yeah, then and the, this is number six. Look at that one. Yeah. So see number one versus number ten. Yeah. And then like here, this is number twelve. Yeah, that's even darker. So as this season comes on, and now I believe it's starting to lighten up again. But we, yes. we will be done at either probably tomorrow. We'll be completely finished with this year. And woohoo! We mm -hmm. have all the taps out of the woods now, and all the everything's out back out of the woods to be cleaned up and put up for next year. So we'll take you outside and show you the, the way we boil it. And you guys might laugh about that too, a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is our little boiler here, it's a 55 gallon drum cut out, and we have a 10 gallon pan on it, and that's basically how we did it last, we, when we first moved here, we found somebody that was selling these, and it's worked great for us, we, uh, maybe someday we'll build a little sugar shack and buy a real maple syrup machine boiler, <laughs> But they're so expensive and this uh, works and, yeah. and we enjoy being outside and we absolutely love the smoky taste that it gives it. Yes. So, so it does. And it really, we don't just fill it up with wood and just let it happen. Yeah. But, and, and then we take uh, Bruce, uh, well, usually Dusty and him do it now, but before in the past, what I would do is I would, I would, he puts a bucket right over here on the bottom. I have the pan. I'll pull the lever and um, Bruce holds the pan with his gloves, like his, um, my welding gloves <laughs> and he'll, he'll uh, tip the pan. And then we go ahead and pour into the bucket and then carry it into the house. And as you saw earlier, um, we use a thermometer, um, that's a, from Taylor and it's just a regular, uh, from Walmart mm -hmm. and it, uh, he sets it for 217 and then we just let it rip. It really has made a big difference in the boiling time and the amount of wood. Because I don't really split my wood for heat in our house. We have a boiler and I usually don't split anything. I just put it in there hole as big as I can lift it in there. That's how big it'll boil, burn. So we have to split the wood here for this. And, but thankfully the boys have been doing most of the wood. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. So, and then of course we had to start buying some even though that's what's on the trailer. Yeah, it's really it, cheap. It is. It's forty dollars a, a bag. Yeah. It already split and ready, and you can't beat that. And it's about the right size to go in here. It helps them and it helps us. So uh, we'd like to thank him for sending it to us. It really helped us. It really cut my boiling time down and my wood. Thank you very much. 
and next year I'll add two more membranes to it and filter through three of them and try that and maybe I'll get it up to 100 psi if I have more filters I don't really know probably so well thanks to Suki thank mm -hmm. you so much and being patient and waiting for us too so yes hope you guys enjoy the video it's good good being here again with you and maybe maybe we can make some more videos maybe I'll feel better maybe she'll feel better too all right um that's it thanks guys thanks starting our maple season today for 2025 and we're going to use a reverse osmosis system we've never used before someone sent us the filters and said so we're uh we're going to try that and maybe that'll make boiling a little better right so we're going to have and we did for the first time this year with cody we did a line system in two places so if everything works out we'll get 100 gallons of tree sap a day so that'll give give us something to do every day like we didn't have enough <laughs> right all right so we'll keep tapping all right exciting drum roll a little <laughs> This one's better, and you can see it coming right out of the tube. The fun is had while the workers work. <laughs> Good times.